Hello there! Let's take a look at some Black Series figures from the first two Star Wars movies. Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 196, the Star Wars Black Series from A New Hope and Return of the Jedi. Galaxy Packaging. <laughs> You know, there's been a lot of Black Series figures released since the start of the line. They began with those black and red boxes, but now are found in the Galaxy packaging. And to tell the truth, I enjoy the Galaxy packaging a lot more than the old black and red ones. While the Mandalorian television series has received a lot of love in the Black Series line, heck, I think they're up to almost 40 characters now. The original movies have not seen that love. In fact, the first movie, A New Hope, has only received six figures in the galaxy packaging, where The Empire Strikes Back only has four. I don't quite understand why. I have my theories, which you probably do too. In fact, why don't you leave a comment and let me know what your theory is, why the original trilogy is not being shown the love that the Mandalorian has been. Well, before we get started with these, let me give you today's trivia question. Today's trivia question comes from landoftrivia.com. And it is, which Star Wars character says the following? To defeat your enemy, you have to understand them. Which Star Wars character said, to defeat your enemy, you have to understand them. Answer will come later in the video. Well, let me get these off to the side and we will get started. As I said earlier, A New Hope, the very first Star Wars movie, has not received a lot of love from Hasbro and I suppose Disney because there has only been six figures released in the Galaxy packaging. I have five of the six. The sixth one I never saw in the store and never got around to getting. So, I'm missing one. But the first one, number one, in the New Hope series is Princess Leia. And of course, this is Princess Leia Organa at Yavin 4 in her ceremonial outfit when Hand and Luke received their medals at the end of the movie. As we look at this figure, we can see it is a pretty good likeness for Princess Leia. Of course, it's a black series, a lot of articulation. Princess Leia Organa was one of the greatest leaders of the Rebel Alliance, fearless on the battlefield and dedicated to ending the Emperor's tyranny. Princess Leia only comes with one accessory and that is one medal. So we can only give one medal out with this figure. If you want the second medal, you gotta buy a second one, I guess. The next one kind of veered away from the main character, shall we say. We went to the cantina on Moss Eisley and came back with Panda Baba. A burly Aqualish thug, Panda Baba smuggled spice for Jabba the Hutt alongside his friend, Dr. Cornelius Evazan, a murderous former surgeon Panda had rescued from a bounty hunter. It is a pretty good likeness of Panda Baba. Um, very well done, I think, a nice sculpt. And only comes with one accessory again, and that is his blaster. Kind of a weird second choice for the New Hope series, but hey, that's what it is. Now, you would hope that with Panda Baba, you would have his partner come out as part of the series, right? They did. Yep, we do have Dr. Evazan, a grubby, scarred smuggler from Aleskan. Cornelius Evazan was once a promising surgeon but became notorious for conducting cruel medical experiments. In the comic series, we see what some of those experiments are, and he is not a nice guy in the least. He's the one that should have had his arm cut off instead of Panda. But looking at the figure, we can see it's a pretty good likeness of that ugly face of his. He only comes with a blaster, and that is it. So, but still, kind of nice to see we get this pair together in this series. Now for the third figure, we stay at the cantina at Moss Eisley, and we have Figrin Dian, the leader of the band, you know. 
Figger and Deanne was the rocking frontman for the all-Bith band, The Model Nodes. His deaf playing of the clue horn for the band earned him the nickname Fiery Figurin. This is a really good looking figure. He comes with three different accessories, three different instruments that he can play. So kind of a, a good accessory. We're, we're starting to work on our cantina theme here. Now with Figurin, I don't know if I just wanted two of them or whether I forgot I had them, but I have two of Figurin, which you know, isn't bad because now I can have him play, I can make two members of the band playing different instruments here if I really wanted to. The fourth one that came out is actually another one from the band. And that would be Nolan and Cheel. Members of the Model Nodes, like Nolan and Cheel on the band fill, played their recognizable tunes in the Moss Eisley Cantina. And I like this one. Yes, it is a deluxe figure. Comes with lots of different things. We have, I think two or three different accessories there when put together. He comes with three sets of hands, I suppose, to hold whatever things he's playing. He's got drumsticks up here and quite a bit of stuff there to choose from. So between these two characters, you buy a couple more of these, you could probably put the whole band together because let's face it, the Bith do look pretty much the same. The characters actually look very much the same. There is a sixth character that is part of this series, and that would be Darth Vader. Darth Vader would be number six. Unfortunately, I never saw him in the stores, never caught it to get online at the time. Uh, it was when I was researching for this that I found out that I'm missing one. So it would be nice to have Darth Vader, but like I said, I searched online a bit. I am not paying the price that these third parties want. On eBay, I've seen that one going for 40 to 50 bucks, even more. Sorry, not paying that for Black Series figures. I am not one of those that has to have every item in the series. If I can find it at a reasonable price, I'll add it. If not, I'm not going to. Well, let me get these out of the way, and let's see what they came up with for The Empire Strikes Back. All right. There are four figures for The Empire Strikes Back in the Galaxy packaging. I was fortunate enough to find all four. So what's the first one? Well, the first one of The Empire Strikes Back is the last one of A New Hope, and that would be Darth Vader. After the destruction of the Death Star, Darth Vader became obsessed with finding Luke Skywalker. He had dispatched probe droids across the galaxy, finally locating the rebel base on the remote planet of Hoth. And as we look at this figure, it is a little heavier. It's a heavier figure. He comes with one accessory, and really that's the only accessory that Darth Vader really needs. And that is his lightsaber. He does have a cloth cape, which is pretty nice. It is pretty menacing looking. This is really a good figure of Darth Vader. At least in my opinion, it is. So Darth Vader is number one of the Empire Strikes Back series. Who made it to number two? Well, that would be... A rebel trooper from Hoth. You know, the ones who got cut down by the Empire when they finally got in through the base. After the Battle of Yavin, the rebels fled from the Imperial Starfleet, seeking a new main base of operations. They settled on the frozen Outer Rim world of Hoth. Comes with a nice batch of accessories. He's got a rifle, a blaster, and a face mask. And he's also wearing a backpack. So a very nice Black Series figure to add to the collection. And I hate to say it, but this is actually number three. I had them out of order. So what was number two? Well, number two was Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker in his snowspeeder uniform. During the Battle of Hoth, Luke Skywalker led the rebel defense against the Emperor's ground forces, including massive AT-AT walkers, giving the Alliance time to evacuate the planet. This is a nice figure of Luke Skywalker. I have to admit, they did a really good job with it. Uh, the clothing really looks sharp. His chest plate looks good with all the colored buttons on it. I am not sure if the helmet's removable or not. I can't quite tell in the packaging here. Unfortunately, Luke only comes with a lightsaber. It would have been nice if they would have given him a pistol and a lightsaber. So this one is actually number two. So I suppose we should move him next to Darth Vader. 
and then we'll move the rebel soldier over here. One more from The Empire Strikes Back, and that's it. Who made the cut? Boba Fett. But the thing is, this is not the Boba Fett that we saw in the movie. No. This is the Boba Fett prototype armor. Before he put on the Mandalorian armor, this bounty hunter was initially envisioned as a super trooper in all white. This figure captures the beginning of a character that's become a legend, Boba Fett. I like this figure. This is a good looking figure. It's not completely white. We got kind of a couple tones of white here. His arm and legs are a little different than the chest plate. He comes with three accessories, his rifle, his pistol, and his backpack down in the lower corner there. Actually, a good-looking figure. This would be a good Boba Fett for battling on Hoth, don't you think? Imagine if he would have been wearing that armor at Hoth. That could have really changed. That might have changed the outcome a little bit of what we saw at Hoth. Not that the outcome needed changing. The Empire won anyway. Well, I do have one more figure because, yes, I had to buy a double. And that was of the Boba Fett. So, yes, I have two Boba Fetts. So what do you think of the Empire Strikes Back? You know, with all the characters from an Empire Strikes Back, why did they stop at four? There was a lot of characters in that movie that would have made great action figures. And hopefully, maybe in the next year or two, we'll maybe see more figures from A New Hope and the Empire Strikes Back. But unfortunately, I'm not really holding my breath because uh, from what I've been hearing on rumors online, Hasbro and Disney might not be getting along as well as they used to anymore. Well, there we go. We've got the figures from A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back Black Series in the Galaxy Packaging. What do you think of these? I wish there was more, but I do like the characters they came up with. I think they did a really good job with them. Now, before we end the video, let's get to that trivia question, shall we? Although I'm sure a lot of you have probably figured this one out already. The question once again was, which Star Wars character says the following? To defeat your enemy, you have to understand them. When I first read this, I thought, well, Thrawn. But nope, it wasn't Thrawn. It was Ahsoka Tano. So I was wrong on that one. Made for a good question, though, don't you think? Well, I hope you've liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. It does help the algorithm out. I'd also appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. We are getting close to the 1500 mark. Got a little bit to go yet, but it'd be great if we could get to it. In fact, I ask you, send this video to your friends and let's see if we can climb quickly to get to that 1500 subscriber mark. Well, until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting.